This is why you need to know about Rome's collapse. The story of Rome is not just a tale of ancient history, it is a mirror reflecting the potential future of modern civilizations. Understanding the rise and fall of the Roman Empire provides us with invaluable insights into the dynamics of power, governance and societal resilience. It is a cautionary tale that underscores the importance of learning from the past to navigate the complexities of the present and future. The lessons from ancient history may just save our modern world. By examining the successes and failures of Rome, we can glean strategies to address contemporary challenges. The Roman Empire, with its vast expanse and diverse population, faced issues strikingly similar to those we encounter today. Political corruption, economic instability, social inequality and external threats. These parallels offer a unique opportunity to apply historical wisdom to modern governance and societal development. In 753 BC, legend has it that Romulus and Remus, twin brothers raised by a she-wolf, founded Rome. This mythological origin story is more than just a captivating tale. It symbolizes the resilience and determination that would come to define the Roman spirit. The story of Romulus and Remus is a testament to the power of myth in shaping cultural identity and collective memory. It highlights the importance of foundational narratives in uniting people and inspiring a sense of purpose and destiny. From these mythical origins sprang a city destined for greatness. Rome's early history is marked by a series of strategic decisions and alliances that set the stage for its eventual dominance. The city's location on the Tiber River provided a natural defense and a vital trade route, facilitating economic growth and military expansion. The early Romans' ability to adapt and innovate laid the groundwork for the city's transformation into a powerful republic and eventually a sprawling empire. Rome's journey to empire began with the establishment of the Roman Republic in 509 BC. This new form of government, characterized by a system of checks and balances, was revolutionary for its time. The Republic's structure allowed for a more inclusive and participatory political process fostering a sense of civic duty and responsibility among its citizens. The Roman Republic's emphasis on the rule of law and the separation of powers would later influence the development of modern democratic systems. Power was shared among elected officials, fostering both civic duty and military excellence. The Roman Republic's political system was designed to prevent the concentration of power in the hands of a single individual. This distribution of authority encouraged active participation in public life and promoted a culture of accountability and transparency. The Republic's military prowess, exemplified by the disciplined and formidable Roman legions, was a direct result of this civic-minded approach. The legion's success in expanding and defending the Republic's territories was a testament to the effectiveness of Rome's political and military institutions. Think of the Roman legions, disciplined and relentless, expanding the Republic's reach. The legions were not just soldiers, they were engineers, builders and administrators. Their contributions to infrastructure such as roads, bridges and fortifications facilitated the integration of conquered territories and the efficient administration of the vast Roman domain. The legions' discipline and adaptability were key factors in Rome's ability to maintain control over its diverse and far-flung provinces. The Punic Wars against Carthage, Hannibal crossing the Alps with elephants, epic tales of conquest and resilience, these conflicts tested the limits of Roman endurance and ingenuity. The Punic Wars, particularly the Second Punic War, showcased Rome's ability to recover from devastating losses and adapt to new military challenges. Hannibal's audacious crossing of the Alps remains one of the most remarkable feats in military history, demonstrating the strategic brilliance and determination of Rome's adversaries. Rome's eventual victory in the Punic Wars solidified its status as a dominant Mediterranean power and set the stage for further expansion. The Republic's end came with Julius Caesar. His rise to power marked a turning point in Roman history. Caesar's military conquests and political maneuvers challenged the traditional republican institutions and paved the way for the transition to imperial rule. His assassination in 44 BC, a dramatic and pivotal event, plunged Rome into a series of civil wars that ultimately led to the demise of the Republic. 
The power struggles and political intrigue of this period highlight the fragility of Republican governance in the face of ambitious individuals and shifting allegiances. His rise and assassination in 44 BC triggered civil wars, leading to Augustus establishing the Roman Empire in 27 BC. Augustus, formerly known as Octavian, emerged as the victor in the power struggles that followed Caesar's death. His establishment of the Roman Empire marked the beginning of a new era characterized by centralized authority and relative stability. Augustus's reign, often referred to as the Pax Romana, brought about significant administrative, economic and cultural advancements. The transition from republic to empire was a complex and transformative process that reshaped the political landscape of Rome and set the stage for centuries of imperial rule. Under Augustus, Rome flourished from Britain to Egypt, engineering marvels like aqueducts and the Colosseum standing as testaments to its glory. The Roman Empire's infrastructure and architectural achievements were unparalleled in the ancient world. The construction of aqueducts, roads and monumental buildings facilitated the efficient administration and integration of the empire's vast territories. The Colosseum, an iconic symbol of Roman engineering and entertainment, exemplifies the grandeur and sophistication of Roman urban planning. These achievements not only enhanced the quality of life for Roman citizens, but also demonstrated the empire's ability to harness and apply advanced technological and engineering knowledge. But even Rome's grandeur couldn't shield it from internal strife and external pressures. The decline of the Roman Empire was a gradual and multifaceted process. Internal factors such as political corruption, economic instability and social inequality eroded the foundations of Roman society. External pressures, including barbarian invasions and military defeats, further weakened the empire's ability to maintain control over its territories. The combination of these internal and external challenges created a perfect storm that ultimately led to the collapse of the Western Roman Empire. Political corruption, economic instability and barbarian invasions took their toll. The Roman Empire's political system became increasingly corrupt and inefficient with power concentrated in the hands of a few elite individuals. Economic instability, exacerbated by heavy taxation, inflation and a reliance on slave labor, undermined the empire's economic resilience. Barbarian invasions, such as those by the Visigoths, Vandals and Huns, further strained the empire's resources and defenses. These factors, combined with a series of weak and ineffective emperors, contributed to the gradual disintegration of Roman authority and the eventual fall of the Western Roman Empire. The sack of Rome in 410 AD and the Western Empire's fall in 476 AD marked the end of an era. The sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 AD was a shocking and symbolic event that underscored the vulnerability of the once mighty empire. The fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 AD marked by the deposition of the last Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustulus, signaled the end of Roman political authority in the West. These events marked the transition from antiquity to the medieval period and had profound and lasting impacts on the development of European history. Today's global powers face similar trials. The challenges that led to the fall of the Roman Empire are not unique to ancient history. Modern nations grapple with political corruption, economic instability, social inequality and external threats. The lessons of Rome's rise and fall are particularly relevant in an era of rapid globalization, technological advancement and geopolitical uncertainty. By studying the factors that contributed to Rome's decline, contemporary societies can develop strategies to address similar challenges and build more resilient and sustainable systems of governance. The Russian-Ukrainian war echoes barbarian invasions, straining resources and destabilizing regions. The conflict between Russia and Ukraine highlights the enduring relevance of territorial disputes and the impact of military aggression on regional stability. The strain on resources, the displacement of populations and the broader geopolitical implications of this conflict mirror the challenges faced by the Roman Empire during its decline. Understanding the historical context of such conflicts can provide valuable insights into their resolution and the prevention of future crises. The Israel-Gaza conflict highlights enduring geopolitical tensions much like Rome's internal divisions. 
The ongoing conflict between Israel and Gaza is a stark reminder of the deep-seated and complex nature of geopolitical tensions. Similar to the internal divisions that plagued the Roman Empire, contemporary conflicts often arise from historical grievances, cultural differences and competing interests. Addressing these tensions requires a nuanced understanding of their root causes and a commitment to dialogue, diplomacy and sustainable solutions. Rome's fall teaches us the need for vigilant governance, sustainable economics and unity in adversity. The decline of the Roman Empire underscores the importance of effective and transparent governance, economic resilience and social cohesion. Modern societies must prioritize these principles to navigate the challenges of the 21st century. Vigilant governance involves maintaining checks and balances, promoting accountability and ensuring that political institutions serve the public good. Sustainable economics requires addressing systemic inequalities, fostering innovation and building robust and adaptable economic systems. Unity in adversity emphasizes the need for collective action and solidarity in the face of common challenges. As we navigate our complex world, Rome's story reminds us of the cyclical nature of power and the timeless relevance of history's lessons. The rise and fall of the Roman Empire illustrate the cyclical nature of history, where patterns of growth, decline and renewal recur across different civilizations and eras. By studying these patterns, we can better understand the dynamics of power and the factors that contribute to the success or failure of societies. History's lessons are timeless, offering valuable insights into human behavior, governance and the pursuit of progress. As we face the challenges of the modern world, the story of Rome serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of learning from the past to build a better future.